Hello and welcome to Mock Productions, you're here with me, Matthew, and we are back with more Skylanders Superchargers news. Not going to be a massive update uh, this one, but there are a few things just to go over. We've got to finish off, obviously, we got to finish off a little bit of E3, a few screenshots and a few uh, different pictures, which were missed out um, being able to find them, so I've inputted it into this. But the main priority is what we'll be discussing at the end. So let's just go through these pictures. So firstly, we've got the supercharged version of Spitfire and Hot Streak there. We haven't had uh, this picture before, so that is looking pretty cool. So you can get a bit of a HD look at what he's going to look like in his car. I really like these uh, these new artworks. They're really awesome, and they uh, they they bring a lot more uh, effect to the overall the overall game itself. So. We've also got this one, which is Stealth Health, which you can see she's got this sort of thorn wood gun there, fighting off those trolls there. Um, a few puzzles going up there as well. Obviously, you've got the clouds in this level, and there's that little snake sort of uh, crystal block thing there, which fires out crystal uh, sort of beams, and it lights up the different things, opens the thing, and then you're in. You're into the next part. But uh, nice screenshot there, obviously, the back of Stealth Health, but you can see the gun in action. Another one here of Dive Bomber, uh, not the uh, supercharged version, but you can see that chaos. Oh, actually, it does actually say chaos on his uh, on that mouth plate of that little uh, symbol there. There's some sort of porcupine mines, something like that. There's some gear bits there, so I'm guessing this is some sort of underwater um, l level. I'm guessing it's just a side mission because obviously the, all all we need is the vehicles to complete the uh, the actual uh, land vehicle to complete the game not these these are side quests but uh, interesting look underwater there and there's another one obviously of the torpedoes getting fired out of dive bomber and there's that little prickly hedgehog in the background with what looks like a z symbol as if he's uh, sleeping so pretty pretty cool so why have i just put this up well high vault um basically uh, if any of you know, this guy here, um, he, he, for me personally, the, I know him, I don't know him, but I know him from uh, the Transformers series, uh, uh, what was his name, Josh Duhamel, D D D I think it's D-U-H-U-M-E-L or something like that, Duhamel. Um, if anyone wants to pronounce that a little bit better in the comments, be my guest. But you can see what he's holding there. Um, and this is apparently supposed to be uh, High Vault. Uh, sort of a tech character there. I quite like the t-shirt as well. I think this is he was specific, This was specifically made for him. Dive, drive and fly. That basically sums up this, this new Skylanders. Um, now just to zoom in there a little bit. I, it's, it's not really the best HD picture, so hopefully soonish. We might be able to get some sort of clear clear picture, but from what it looks like, he's got some sort of shield, some sort of staff, and he looks very Archean robot esque. But uh, apparently, um, he he is supposed to be voicing the character, so that is why he's actually got him in his hand. Apparently, um, and then obviously there it is, super duper zoomed up, um, and you can barely make it out. It's really bright. But um, no, pretty awesome that they've you know this was sort of on the side. You know, if you if you didn't see the, these pictures, then that's it really. You you you're, uh, snookered. But um, really good, and I'm hoping that this is going to get announced pretty soon. Seeing as he has shown it off, um, it might be like a prototype. Maybe they gave him this and said, right, this is your character. Have a prototype. Be happy. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty interesting, and I'm liking the look of this uh, quite a bit. So moving on now. Why am I showing you all this? Well, for a good reason, indeed. Um, number one, this was on a, a pre-order poster. Uh, I think it was GameStop, I believe. Um, and basically, it showed all of the packagings um, and the different types of packagings which we'll be getting. Now, this is rather interesting, and I am super, super happy that they finally showed us that we are going to be getting combo packs. Um... <clears throat> So, basically, if you haven't already worked out, a combo pack is basically the Skylander and their vehicle. So, no matter who you're getting in this combo pack, I'm guessing you're going to be getting some sort of combo, which will be supercharged straight away when you put both on the portal. You can see, though, obviously, we've, we've already seen Shark Shooter Terrafin, 
but the, his vehicle is going to be called the Shark Tank. Um, now, there's obviously two pictures there. I sort of got a HD one and a bit of a zoomed in one, but uh, the HD one's probably the best one to look at. Um, but you can see a little bit more of the vehicle on the other one. But the, the I mean, I mean, we did we did already hear about the uh, tanks being involved. It doesn't look so much as a tank. It just looks like an armored up vehicle. But I know that people do describe them as tanks sometimes, but not. What I was expecting a tank with a turret. But who knows, this might have an upgrade, and I like that thing on the back. Um, obviously, you can see the vehicle there in the package, and it looks pretty simplistic, pretty sort of shark-like. It's got the fin on the back. But then you look at the supercharged version, you've got spikes, you've got that shark on the side, which really, really influences that it's terrifying in there. And that chainsaw saw, saw thing on the back, which just looks super duper overpowered. So, fingers crossed this guy either comes out in the Wave 1 or possibly Wave 2. I mean, if they do like last year, we could have Wave 1-2. But, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have to see. We'll see what, you know, comes out for pre-order. But I have a sneaky feeling that because they've showed the packaging of this guy, he's going to be a Wave 1 uh, supercharger. So, pretty cool there. Moving on, we have this. Uh, I'm I'm super happy for this one as well. Obviously, if you can't see that, it is Hot Streak, and he's in a box. So this is great news for anyone with Nintendo uh, uh, starter packs. So if you're thinking of getting the Wii, the Wii U, or the 3DS, ideal because you are going to be able to get Hot Streak, and I'm guessing Spitfire if they do a combo pack of him. I'm guessing as well combo packs for Donkey Kong and Bowser will be available. However, as we've already discussed, sadly, they're not going to be available on every console. Um, I know a few people have been saying that they wanted uh, specifically uh, specific relatable characters. I think one person mentioned about Halo for uh, Xbox or something. Interesting, uh, maybe they might bring it up, maybe they might just, you know, not make it Skylanders and make it every single game's personal characters dot com. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But I'm 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 super happy now that we're actually going to be able to get Hot Streak as a single pack, and I'm guessing combo as well. And I'm really liking the uh, the overall packaging as well. I like the slant. I I really like the the edge to it. It's really cool. The boxes look pretty square, and the overall colours and all that pretty crisp as well. So it's pretty cool, and it shows off the vehicle or character uh, very well. So moving on from that, we've obviously got this, which is the packaging for the single characters. So obviously we ha we have the vehicles, the Skylanders themselves, and then the combo packs. So we've basically seen all the packaging we really need to. It's just finishing off the characters and the exclusives, and then we can actually concentrate on actually playing the game and getting <laughs> getting to know and learn more about all this supercharger stuff. But it does look really really cool. Obviously, underneath all of these different sections, there are little, like, paragraphs of writing and all that sort of stuff. But it's pretty cool just to, you know, be able to see this at this sort of early, I'll say, stage. Because it's only, it's only been announced maybe about a month ago or something like that. Um, but it's really cool to be able to see these packages, and it's really, really cool. Finishing off, we've got this, which is just like an underneath section. Um, now, all of... All of these are basically saying, we've, I'll go from left to right and then down and left to right. Some of these are quite interesting. Um, embark on all new wild adventures as normal. Fly, drive and dive through Skylands with three different vehicle types. Obviously that is completely new, but we know about that. Uh, ride fast and fully armed in the new Skylander vehicle. So that's talking about the supercharger things. It says, use superchargers to, I'm guessing, modify parts to boost powers and abilities, I'm guessing that might say. So it just shows the difference between what it looks like and what it will. Match superchargers and vehicles to find supercharged combos and unlock the most powerful vehicles in Skyland. So it's obviously showing you a bit of a calculation, but I doubt you did that in maths when you were in school. If you're, not, if you're still in school, then, you know, maybe check with your teacher. You don't know if a shark fin plus shark tank equal, <laughs> equals... Super OP tank. Um, and then we got battle to save Skylands with the Skylanders superchargers on foot and in their vehicles. You can see two different uh, Skylanders there. You got Spitfire and Stealth Elf there, which is pretty cool. This is rather interesting. Play with your friends in multiplayer mode. They weren't talking about multiplayer, but they've obviously mentioned it now. So hopefully 
this either means we might have challenges where we can do together, racing, which it looks like we can do together, um, which is going to be awesome. But I, I really hope soon, very, very soon, this is all explained in much, much detail. And then it says challenge yourself with fun mini games. So I'm guessing that's going to take on all the different uh, elements and mini games which you use with these vehicles, and possibly once you've done um, one of the side quests, you unlock it as a as a uh, as a mini game then, and you can like unlock new hats and all that stuff. So very interesting this poster. Um, nothing else has been mentioned. There's been no pre-order news or anything like that. I have pre-ordered mine, but um, if it does end up having some sort of effect. Maybe another place has a um, has a pre-order special. Then I will definitely think about pro possibly switching my pre-orders um, in order to get whatever sort of pre-order um, pre bonuses you get. Some of them I've seen. Um, there's uh, what was it? A swap force figure. Why it's not trap team? I don't know. Maybe that was a spelling error. Um, but it was a swap force figure. There was something about. Uh, I mean, they've got all these deals on. You know, if you like bring in a portal, and at one point it was like bring in a portal, you get a, a free pop fizz or something like that. But uh, rather interesting stuff. Uh, I do want to slightly apologise to Pete. Um, just you know, to all the subscribers and viewers, you know, it hasn't there hasn't been that much content on the channel lately. Um, <laughs> I've been rather busy, to be honest, uh, at work. To be honest, I've been called in quite a few times so I haven't got round to uh, being able to put anything on because I've been coming home late and it's been like ah I could have put something on but um, it's just to what you know just to tell people that uh, you know I do apologize for that but don't think that it's gonna be like one video per week because it's not I am not uh, letting it go down to that I'm gonna I've still got some Skylander videos as backup so I'm gonna be putting them out as well um, I'll be putting back on the Splatoon stuff I know people have been enjoying that at the moment and also I want to try and get started on the Minecraft series hopefully when we finish um, Skylanders trap team we'll go back to Minecraft and we'll get building on that building um, so if you're interested in any of that or if you've enjoyed this update please make sure to hit that subscribe button below in order to see more content on the channel and also more news updates on Skylander Superchargers comment down below any thoughts on what you've seen in this news update and also rate the video if you've enjoyed the vi uh, what? what? what was that? Uh, rate the video if you have enjoyed it so there we go guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel Thank you and goodbye.